Kendall. Hi. You look pretty good. Thanks. Yeah, tell that to Dr. Castillo. He won't let me go home. He keeps saying it's too soon. Well, as someone who was in here not too long ago, they're usually right about these things. Did you talk to my mom and Bianca? Did they give you their notes after I finally sent them home? A pneumonia is nothing to fool around with, especially with your heart problems. Well, the medication has kicked in, so I am feeling great. Everything is under control. And I really need to get home to my boys. Well, if you want me to stop by, you can take them to the park or make snowballs. I should be doing that. Well, you will, when you're stronger. I mean, I could lie in bed at home. At least then they'll, they'll see that I'm not dead. If you're planning on going anywhere, you're gonna have to pass through me first. Madison, do you know Dr. McWonderful? And well, no. Actually, it's pronounced Castillo. <laughs> nice to meet you. So what's this I hear about you wanting to leave? Is it the food? Um, no, no, actually, it's you and your silly macho doctor routine. I'm just trying to save lives, ma'am. Okay, that may work in the jungle, but around here... Jungle? So much. Whatever, jungle, desert, I don't know, wherever the hell you are, it doesn't matter. The fact is, if someone wants to leave a hospital, they can leave. Okay, fine. I got other patients. You want to go? Just go ahead and walk right out that front door. You think I can't? I think you're stubborn enough to try, but smart enough to know you won't make it to the elevator. Take a deep breath. Up, up. <sighs> Hold it. You're sounding better. He seems to know what he's doing. Zach. I hired Dr. Castillo to help with the Miranda Center expansion. Oh, that's great. That place really helped me out when I needed it. Okay, well, maybe you can uh, tell him to focus on that job instead of hovering over me 24-7. <sighs> hovering. You know, I failed that in med school, but I did ace all my cardiology classes. And since you're a heart transplant patient with pneumonia... Uh, recovering from pneumonia. Your condition has improved. Your blood pressure's down and your fever broke. Okay, then you're still treating me like I'm at death's door. It's a very scary door. It has a big skull and bones knocker. <laughs> I don't scare easily. Is she gonna be okay? That's the plan. But I still don't feel comfortable she's not at risk. I'm at risk of completely losing my mind. Medically speaking, that probably happened long before you got into the hospital. <laughs> don't encourage him. I know... You know, part of being a good doctor is treating the whole patient, not just parts of her. Mm. Do, you, do you have an ingrown toenail? Did you sprain your funny bone? I am bored to tears. Do you know what would be a lot less boring? Heart palpitations. Are you having those? Not yet. But they could be coming, and they can be very exciting. Like a booming car stereo with a bass cranked all the way up right in your chest. And that could be the precursor to all kinds of other fun stuff. All right, okay, I think we get it. Like what? You see that? You see that? Somebody doesn't find me boring. And to think that once I had entire villages writing my name in stones. Okay, that doesn't sound real to me. Is it true? Yeah. They would have written Dr. McWonderful, but they ran out of rocks. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Maybe three on one will do it. Hey. Hi. Hi. Everyone, <laughs> you're looking so much better. Tell him. She's improved, but you're not going home yet. How are you doing? Good. Really good. No problems? No. Her gunshot wound is healing. And actually, I got to go right now. But I'll come back and check on you later, OK? Thanks again for everything, Madison. Don't let her break out of here. Um, hey, thank you for keeping such a tight rein on Kendall. Heart transplant patients always need someone to keep an eye on them. I'll make sure that Kendall's regular cardiologist stays on her. What about you? Well, I'm a surgeon. I just happened to be here when Kendall was brought in. But playing the whole patient police, that's not my thing. Mm. I'll see ya. See ya. Right? Hey. Hey, I just had an interesting conversation with Greenlee. Ugh, I'm afraid to even ask. You should be. Don't trust a medicine. 
Whenever you're with her, watch your back. Can I get Greeley tried to smooth everything over, but it's pretty clear. She doesn't want Ryan anywhere near you or your baby. Well, that's not really much of a secret. I mean, I, and I agree with her. I don't want to share this baby. Greenly doesn't exactly just let things go. She's just protecting her territory. It's more than that. You want this baby. I do. Greenly doesn't. I think she wants a way to guarantee that you and your baby won't interfere with her life. This is weird. Hey, Mac. You don't want to catch this. OK. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Are you sure you should be out? Ugh. Well, I don't have a choice. Moms don't get sick days, so. Well, moms get breaks, right? Welcome to my big break today. I am making an emergency run for medicine and Crystal's chicken noodle soup. <laughs> I ache all over, but I, I can't stop now, so. Well, is there anything I can do? Oh, thank you. Uh, thank God Jake got his shift covered for the rest of the afternoon, because I don't know how I could do it, but uh, I don't know how single mothers do it, you know? Uh, more power to them, right? Right. But luckily, there are lots of great nannies out there. And we have one of the best ones. Just don't ask me how much she makes. That bad? But worth every penny. You'll see someday. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry to disturb you. Hey. Hi. No, you're, you're not. You're not. I think I left a cell phone here. You did, actually. And uh, my prison guard took it away from me. I like Dr. Castillo. Yeah, of course you do. Well, you know what? You can have him. Here you go. Thank you. Hey, if there's anything I can get you before I go. No, thank you. Okay. Take care, huh? Uh, actually, can I ask you something? Sure. Is there a tidal wave hovering over my head? No, no tidal wave. <laughs> a hurricane? A monsoon? No, neither. But that's how it feels. Do you ever feel like that? Like life is just spinning and swirling around you and you've got this...